Vocals are one of the most important parts of a mix, but most of us don't have the luxury to record in a studio with a good vocal room. I recently recorded some vocals at my church where I had several rooms to choose from, but I wasn't sure which would work best, so I did some tests. There was the sanctuary, the stage closet, two rooms upstairs, and a closet where I used to record my vocals. What I found was that every room has its problems. Big rooms like the sanctuary create long reverbs that keep the vocals from sounding crisp and up front while small spaces like a closet create short reverbs that actually affect the sound of your voice and introduce a lot of weird noises in the frequency spectrum. One option could be to use a close mic technique on a dynamic mic like the SM7B, which would make the room irrelevant. But while it's a decently priced mic, if you've already got a mic, you might not be looking to drop a lot of money on a new one anytime soon. In this case, you're gonna need some kind of sound treatment. Matt over at DIY Perks posted a video a while back on how to make acoustic panels out of towels, which is apparently a good material for absorbing sound. But if you're like me and you're borrowing your recording space, you might not be able to set up anything permanent. So I'm going to show you a solution that you can easily set up and tear down in any room. I ended up creating this towel booth, and it works quite well. I grabbed a few mic stands and positioned them in a T-shape, then raised them as high as they would go. Now if you don't have any mic stands, you could use another kind of stand, or maybe build something out of PVC pipe, or create some kind of clothesline that you could hang them on, or come up with something. I used three mic stands and I positioned them in a triangle shape around my mic. Then I grabbed three thick blankets and hung them over each stand. Now I'm sure thick blankets work well for sound absorption as well, but the reason I use them is because they're longer than the towel, so they cover up a lot more space. After that, I hung two towels on each stand and then used three towels to create a roof. Here's an example of how well it works. Break yourself into pieces. Break yourself into pieces. You can hear there's a lot of reverb without the towel booth, and even though there's still a little bit left with it, it's a huge improvement. However, I found that it works best in medium-sized closets or small rooms. Just try to make sure you have a fairly tall ceiling. Break yourself into pieces. And there you go. I'm really quite pleased with how well this works. For years I was recording vocals in that small closet upstairs, and I didn't realize that the foam panels weren't doing much, and the short reverb was creating weird frequency noises in my voice, which made it very difficult to EQ in the mixing stage. But now using this setup, the vocals are a lot cleaner and a lot easier to work with, and I'm actually excited about mixing vocals. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Until next time.